Uh, hello, so my name is uh, Omar Spinoza. And this is just a quick overview of uh, ABA 626, uh, Functional Behavior Assessments. Uh, I'll be going over <clears throat> my SAP Meds progress and um, the, study <clears throat> the study habits I use to um, master my SAP Meds decks and um, how that looked like. So initially what I would do to, to study my SAP Meds deck is I would um, set a timer for 30 minutes and practice my deck by reading the, the reading the word, the, the term, and then reading the definition on the back. And um, I would try to review all the all the cards in the deck within these 30 minutes, just try to memorize uh, each term and their definitions. After a 30 minute timer was up, I would then start another 30 minute timer to practice um, running through my SAFMETS uh, deck using the SAFMET approach where I, I would look at it, look at the term and then try to say the definition out loud and then move on to the next deck, next next card over and over. So I would practice this for 30 minutes. So without actually using, without actually running my staff Michelle, just running a quick 30 minute or running a 30 minute session where I would try to see how fast I can go through each card and see which ones were giving me the most trouble and just, you know, evaluate where I need to focus my, focus my um, direction. Um, so then after I would complete this, I would then uh, run my SAFMS trials, all five trials for the acquisition acquisition deck. So I did I, I did that. I would do give myself the 30 seconds timer, try to go through as many cards as possible. And then afterwards, when I was done, if I was able to hit my objective, which my objective was always to try to hit at least 25 um, cards in under 30 seconds, then um, I would get my... Uh, reinforcer which usually was kind of playing video games for an hour um, and typically th that um, that study method approach has worked best for me um, I was able to uh, master all three decks in this class um, looking at the my progress actually um, I was able to actually hit my goal of 25 XL almost by the end of the first initial week and was able to maintain that score uh, throughout the next couple of weeks that I was running my staff meds trials. So um, I think it went very successful. I think my, my current study method has been uh, really successful in helping me achieve uh, not only the aim goal, which usually the aim goal is uh, 14 XL score, uh, but also just hit my personal goal that I set for myself, which was 25. So typically in the first week of running or starting a new deck, I would run the deck, um, you know, I'd run the first session without any intervention to see where my bench, bench, um, my benchmark was at, where, where my baseline was at. I mean, and then um, I would then implement my intervention plan, which was the study method that I would be using. And then um, after the first week of doing that, typically I would hit my Excel score. And then in the second week, I was just I would run my decks, my Safman decks, and try to just maintain the. My, object, my personal objective of 25 XL, which I typically usually did. So I would maintain an, a constant stable score line of 25 XL throughout the week. And the third week, I would actually remove my reinforcement system, just remove all intervention and just, just grab the deck and just automatically start doing it just to see if I have actually attained full mastery of this skill set um, because I was no longer using any kind of intervention plan. I was just running the trial by itself. So yeah, based on uh, what I've seen in, in, um, in the data for for deck three and deck, I'm, I'm sorry, for actually deck two and deck, yeah, for deck two, I was able to see that in the third week, I was able to actually successfully run my staff and trials without any intervention. So meaning I was, that, mean, that means that I was able to hit my personal goal of 25 XL, which I was able to do. And, and to me personally, I think that meant that I, Fully mastered that deck, so th this was these were the approach that I did uh, for studying my staff meds decks, and I, I I think they've been successful, and they've been very successful in the past courses as well. So for the time being, I've been just sticking with this intervention plan because it's been pro proven to to have gotten me the most success in this course. Um, so yeah, that was my overview of uh, ABA six twenty six uh, of my staff meds trials. Thank you for listening.